We're joined now by Red Deer Rebels defenseman Luke Vluswick. Luke, uh, let's uh, talk about your summer, first of all. Uh, as we speak right now, we're you know, a handful of weeks away from the start of training camp for yourself and for the Rebels. Uh, what have you been up to this summer in terms of your preparation and, and getting ready for a first full season in the WHL? Yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been nice to uh, have a little bit of time to spend with some family, friends, you know, been able to go golfing quite a bit, get out to the lake. But um, yeah, at the same time, I've been uh, working really hard in the gym and on the ice to, you know, kind of prepare me for my uh, first season up in Red Deer. Tell me about the excitement level for yourself, for your family, for those close to you. I mean, how eager are you to to kind of get things started this year? Oh, I can't wait. I've uh, the second my season was done, I uh, I wanted camp to start right away. I've uh, for it's for my entire family. We're just really looking forward to it. Um, you know, we're all kind of preparing for it, so uh, we're all really excited. You got a bit of a taste of what life is like last year. You know, you joined the Rebels on a road trip with your first call up, and uh, you got into some action with the club. But you know, how much did that kind of, for lack of a better term, wet your whistle in terms of, you know, wanting to to get get going here for real yeah you know I think it was awesome going on the road trip uh, I kind of got to see how uh, a team runs when they're on the road you know um, just expectations uh, you know kind of learn the ins and outs of the team and it was nice I had um, I had some of the veterans they they kind of showed me uh, the way so it's uh, it's nice I already started to to gain bonds and friendships uh, just from that little 10-day stretch you know, there's a couple of NHL drafted defensemen that were on that team last year, obviously with Lindgren and, and set off. Uh, did you, did you kind of take any pointers from them or were you kind of more like a sponge just around the entire team? Yeah, I actually, uh, I lived with uh, Lindgren at camp last year. We built it together. So I was kind of picking his brain the whole time, you know, asking him about how his first camp was, what the draft was like, all that. Um, but yeah, I'm also, I was just kind of, Again, being a sponge, uh, just trying to learn as much as I can. One of the nice things about Red Deer is that it's pretty much close to anywhere, right? When you come to the WHL map, it's fairly central. But for you especially, a Calgary kid playing relatively close to home, tell me about the excitement level there. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Uh, that was definitely one of the the points that my family and I were really uh, excited about with Red Deer is that it's super close to home. Uh, I think they've got one of the best travel schedules in the league, like you said, being very central. So it'll be nice to have um, some family and friends uh, being able to watch um, quite a few games. Luke, for those who haven't seen you play, tell me a little bit about your style, what you would consider your strengths on the ice. Yeah, so I'm uh, well right now I'm six foot four. At only 16, so I'm I'm definitely a big kid. So I think I I like to play a really defensive role um, on the ice. Like I uh, I think I like to call myself a player who like runs the the penalty kill almost because I well I have such a long stick that I I think I use it to my advantage really well. But you know um, I'm also not afraid to jump up in the rush or uh, let a big shot go from the point. So I think I can uh, add to a team and you know, especially the Rebels on both ends of the ice. Are there any NHL players that you've kind of grown up watching that you try to model your game after? Yeah, you know, one who I really uh, like to try and watch is uh, Jacob Slavin in Carolina. I think he's uh, he's one of the best, uh, if not the best, uh, defender in the league. So I'm, uh, I'm always watching his uh, games and stuff and, you know, trying to point out the little things that he does to um, – you know, to help him be successful in his game. Yeah, and I mean, he's kind of a guy who maybe flies under the radar a little bit too, right? Playing where he does in Carolina, and you know, a, a guy that plays all situations, rarely gets into penalty trouble, and, and you know, like you said, is, is kind of a defense first guy and then excels at it too. Yeah, 100%. That's um, that's kind of the role that I want to take. I, uh, I know that I'm not going to be the most flashy guy on the ice, but – you know, I, uh, I've kind of accepted that and I want to just master again, the little things and, you know, I'm, I'm fine being a little underappreciated. You got a new head coach in Red Deer this year, Derek Walzer, a former NHL defenseman who of course was in the Memorial cup last year. He was an assistant with the Peterborough Peets. Uh, you know, have you had any conversations with him yet? And, uh, if so, even if not, how excited are you to kind of be, uh, be part of a bit of a new era in Red Deer? 
Yeah, you know, I, uh, I actually had a 30 minute phone call with him uh, last week and, you know, he reached out, he just wanted to say hi, uh, you know, kind of get to know all the players a bit. And um, from the conversation that we had, he seems like an awesome guy and he's really driven. And again, I think he has the mindset that he can't wait to get to camp and get things started. So I think the fresh start is going to be, um, is going to be nice. And yeah, I know, I know everyone's excited about it. My last one for you, Luke, when you're not focused on hockey, I know you touched on kind of golf off the top of the top of the interview here, but what, what else keeps you busy? What else do you like to do uh, in your spare time? Yeah. Uh, golf is definitely a big one. I mean, uh, my mom is a professional golfer, so I've kind of been golfing since I was a little kid, but, um, but yeah, no, I like to golf. Um, and then we spend time out at the lake. So I, uh, I get to wake surf quite a bit. So, um, yeah, it's, those are both kind of things that, um, are really nice to do with family and friends and, you know, it kind of takes your mind off hockey for a little bit and gives you that little reset button. And then, yeah, these last coming weeks, it's kind of, it's kind of go time for camp now. 